So I've been wearing this wig for several months now, nonstop, and after the first two months of wearing it, I noticed it got really, really tangled and it was starting to lose the curl pattern. So I actually washed it and did a whole revamp of the synthetic wig using a curling iron on very low heat. And uh, for information on how to do that, please check my video the wig renewal series. I think it's um, episode number two on how to revamp a synthetic wig. But today what we're going to do is for light tangling or light um, frizz that you start to notice, particularly around the nape of the neck, you can see here how the wig is starting to mat up a little bit and it's just not looking fresh. The overall curl pattern is still good. You know, it's still holding up from the revamp that I did there, but just for like a weekly refresher or a bi-weekly ref refresher, here's what we're gonna do. So what you wanna do is you wanna get um, a bottle of water and you wanna get a nice detangling brush. You could use a nice wig brush like this uh, this is brush strokes. I got this from Sally's some time ago, but you can see it has sort of these metallic tines. Um, it's really good for brushing through synthetic hair. Of course, you want to get yourself a good number of clips, butterfly clips or whatever kind of clips you have on hand. Um, you want to get a nice wig lusterizer for synthetic hair. I like Demert. I've been using this for years. So whatever sort of wig lusterizer and conditioner you have on hand. And then also as an optional step, you might wanna get a nice lightweight leave-in conditioner. This one is by Tresemme, it's called the Split Remedy. Um, it reduces frizz for soft, smooth ends. It's a leave-in and it has a very lightweight formula. So this is optional. So what you wanna do is once you've gotten your wig secured to a nice wig form. You want to expose the bottom layer of hair that you're going to be working with. So just gently with your fingers separate the hair up above and just clip that out of the way. Okay and so here you can see where we really want to focus, what we want to concentrate on. And so what I do is I like to just lightly spray that with water very lightly. And starting for these little pieces here that you can separate with your fingers, that's what you want to do. You know, if it needs a little bit of a brush, you want to start at the ends, and make your way up very gently, smoothing as you go. And what the water does is it actually helps the synthetic fibers maintain their, their shape. So you can see that wave pattern is still there. And again, with the next section, you wanna just smooth gently as you go up from the bottom, separating and smoothing out those fibers all the way up to the top. And because it's a little bit damp, you can just kind of finger curl it back into place. Now for this more involved piece, depending on how it brushes out, we might have to take the curling iron to reform this curl because this is a really, really matted up and tangled piece. But don't worry because that's easily accomplished with your curling iron on a low setting, but you want to do the same sort of thing, just kind of brush it from the ends up to the top. And I can already see I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to curl this one because it is out of control. And if you find it's not really brushing very easily, go back through with your water again. And that helps a lot to help you brush through the fibers without pulling so much. And you can see with that little bit of addition of water, it just really smoothed it out and made it easy for me to brush through. Okay, and 
just taking a little bit of a twist with your hand and you can form that right back into place. Just move on to the next section. And I try not to take too many sections at a time because we want to maintain sort of individualized wave pattern, curl pattern, or whatever you're working with on your synthetic hair. You kind of want to maintain that as much as possible. So I like to take small sections and work with those. Again is another section where it's kind of matted, kind of tangly. So I'm just going to take my fingers first. I gave it a nice good spritz with water. I'm just going to take my fingers first to separate that out. I'm just going to very gently work that through, smoothing it to the end. finger curl as I go along. <clears throat> now if I get to a particularly dry section like this, once I've detangled it, separated it from the fibers below, what I like to do is again take a little bit of water just to help smooth the fibers. And this is where you can use either your wig lusterizer or your conditioner, lightweight conditioner. And I'm just going to take just a very little bit, and that's actually more than I want it. I'm going to take a little bit of that and spread it right on the fibers. very gently work that through. It helps to soften the fibers, helps to condition them a little bit, and helps to keep them from matting up and tangling as quickly. Okay. So we see here we have one section that's sort of completed here, detangled and defrizzed. And then we just have this section here to work with just to get that sort of rat's nest worked out. So I like the look of the synthetic wigs once they get a little bit older. To me, they take on a more natural sheen. Um, they're not too wiggy and shiny once they get a little bit older. And so this is why I choose to maintain my synthetic wigs and get more than um, one-time usage out of them. Now mind you, even with all the maintenance in the world, you know, these fail at some point. They're not human hair and they're not meant to last like that. So, you know, use your discretion. But for me, you know, just that little bit right there, just smoothing that out, to me that looks great. It just totally revives the wig and makes it so that I can continue to use it. So we finished with the bottom part. We've gotten that detangled. And like I said, this is sort of a bi-weekly um, maintenance. So I don't have to do the curl right now and go back in with the curling iron. I just did enough just to detangle and defrizz down there at the nape of the neck so that those curls can now again lay naturally um, on the back of the wig. A little bit of frizz coming up at the top. So what I do is I usually take a little bit of water and do a finger smooth to start with, just to get kind of all the fibers laying in the direction that I want it to go. Here, I'll take my wig brush and just smooth down those fibers right in the front and just get them all going in the direction that we want it to go. And because it's synthetic hair and because it has that memory to the fibers, it'll lay right back into place like you want it. 
And then I usually just take a look around, make sure there's nothing. Then I'll take a little bit more of my conditioner, just a very small amount. You just kind of rub that over the fibers again, just to soften and lay everything in place. Plus it smells really good. It smells really good. Okay. And then as a final, just set, setting spray, I'll take my demurt. And this kind of keeps everything in place. Smooths it down. And there you have it. Bentley is ready to go again. And I think looking just as good, if not better, as when I first purchased her.